So we're just going to have a quick look at how we put in the water profile uh, into Brewfather. Now I'm no expert on Brewfather, but I'm learning it and I'll be putting up more and more videos about it as we go along. Uh, now I did get a message from EJ, I hope that's how you pronounce his name, probably got it wrong. Uh, and he said that Sydney Water had a great uh, water analysis page, so we'll, I haven't had a look at it yet, but we'll go and have a look right now. I know it had something called brewing on it, but um, normally you just type in to search for water analysis. And uh, there you go, look at that. It's pretty handy. Good on you, Sydney Water. There's a few other water companies, you're listening Melbourne Water, that should do this. <laughs> I know some people from Melbourne Water watch some of my videos. So I'm putting in my old grandmother's address. They don't live there anymore, uh, not for a long time, but uh, just needed a Sydney address and there's the details we can see there they have the chlorine the pH calcium sodium iron magnesium and the chloride so we'll just get brew father up here if I can spell it right Open the app. So we're going to the profiles, into the water, add new water profile. I'll call it Marylands, New South Wales. Leave that as it is. Now the pH is what they want. So we look over there and it says 7.7 .7 to 7.9. So I'll put in 7.8. Uh, calcium is next. And I'm just working that out in my head, 13.6. Uh, I'm not going to be accurate here, I'm just quickly doing it for the video, so if you want to go over the numbers and make sure they're as accurate as you can get, you can do that. Magnesium um, is another one, I'll guess at 6.5, it's probably not that high, but it's got to be close. As I said, go over them and, and find out properly what they are. Sodium's easy, 20.7. Now chloride, uh, we've got the chloride there, 31.8. Now they don't have the sulfate and I can't see any bicarbonate there either. Um, if we scroll around, we might find something else. No, oh yeah, here we go. What's at the bottom? Quarterly drinking water report. We'll try here. Uh, this first page is what should not be detected in the water. So that's sort of the safety levels. Uh, that's not what we want. Continue scrolling. Um, and here we have some more information and we have average results. Um, and there's the pH and they've written 7.9 for the average. Um, so I might just whack that in instead. So they all, be, they all vary so much, it's hard to get actual numbers. And uh, here we go, I found the alkalinity. Now the alkalinity there is in the CA, CO3. And it's 39 to 59, which would mean it'd be, it'd be about 49. But we need 
the bicarbonate in HCO3. Now, if you remember from my other video, if you've seen my other video, um, if you haven't, you should probably go and watch it. There's a conversion for that. And so to get HCO3, all we've got to do is multiply that Ca CO3 by 1.22. So I'll just quickly do that, just with Google will do. I'll just say 49 times 1.22. And that says 59.78. Close enough for me. Now we just have to find the sulfate. Uh, looking, 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 and there it is there. That's that 9.8 to 11. Um, so we'll go with, uh, was it 10.4? 10.4, I'm calling it. 10.4 would be a nice average. It'd be in the middle anyway. So that's all the information we need for our water profile. Everything's there. So we'll just save that away. And now it it's lives in your water profiles, so you can use it any time. So we go into our recipes I'll just pick one out I'm not going to use my two published recipes because I'll muck around with them I'll just pick something I've been playing with I think this recipe was for EJ2 from memory it was a clone of something I don't remember what it is but um, I don't know exactly what it is it was a US IPA and it used those hops so I just made a recipe up with it just having a quick look we we'll scroll down to water You can see that it's got a different water. So we'll add in the Marylands. Everything's there. Save it. Now you can see down here that where it's red, it means we haven't got enough calcium. Um, the magnesium's okay, that's all right. We haven't got enough chlorides. You know, th you know there's things that need adjusting. Now this would just be for general, a general you know, style as it says there. But you can pick something like the American IPA. And now it's trying to match our water to a suitable water for American IPA. We can, we can still see we're short in sulfates and a couple of others. So there's no additions added yet. Once we click on auto, you can see it's filled in. It's given us uh, gypsum to add, calcium chloride to add, and Epsom salts to add. Now you can also see above that everything's green. We're in the green area for everything. and it's given us the amounts to add to our sparge water, or you could add those salts to your boil. Now it gives you the option down the below there to add acid to your mash and your sparge. And if you have a look at our pH there, we're a little bit high. We could get away with that, I think, but uh, just for the sake of the video, um, we'll have a little play around. Uh, my lactic, I think, is 88%. I could be wrong. I'm going from memory. And we'll just try it. Uh, we'll add a mill or two. Two mil. And there it goes. That takes our pH down to 5.4. You go as far as you like. 
the 5.3. So 3 mil would take it to 5.3, smack in the middle of 5.2 to 5.4. I'd probably start there. Now, if you don't want to use lactic acid, you don't have to. You could use phosphoric acid, but we're not using that today. I'm going to put the lactic back to zero. And what we'll do is we'll save this off as it is, and we'll go and we'll add some grains in. We'll try adding um, acidulated malt. So you can see our pH is back to 5.5. We'll go up the top here. We'll add in some acidulated malt. And we'll try first with maybe 100 grams. See what happens. So I've added 100 grams. Looking for the pH. It's a bit of a pain down the bottom here. And it's 5.4. Which, you know, that's, that's not too bad. But we'll try with a bit more. 200 grams. And that's given us a, a pH of 5.26, which is probably okay too. That's probably a, a great place to start. You can just see by playing around, you can get it to the pH that you want. I like to sort of add the least I can of acids, whether it be acidulated malt or lactic, for no other reason than I don't know, it's just personal preference. So. We'll go for 150 grams and we'll see what that does. So that gets us more smack in the middle of 5.2 to 5.4. 5.33, so that'll do me. That's what I'd try for the first batch. Look, I could be way off, this could be very wrong, but it's a place to start. And after that, as soon as you, you, know, you try this one, you take a pH reading during the mash, and you see how close or how far away you were from your estimates, and you can adjust from there. You might be one or two points up. So you might just adjust, the easiest way to do it is just to adjust your pH uh, in your water profile and adjust it up or down a couple of points so it matches what you actually got. Play with your recipe till, you know, up or down, till it matches the pH you actually got. And then next time, try it again with that pH and you might be closer. Anyway, I hope that's helped. This is a recipe, I haven't made it public yet. I'll have to put a photo on to make it public. Um, and I, it's a not, I haven't tried this recipe, but it um, doesn't mean it's not gonna be good. I've been looking at it after I sort of put it together for EJ and, uh, I'm thinking I might brew it myself. Anyway, thanks, cheers, like, subscribe, thanks to my patrons, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.